Welcome back guys. So I'm here with Kayliss hair today. It's 100% premium synthetic hair wig. Okay. Yes, we're doing a synthetic wig install today guys. So yeah, this is quite different from me. You guys know I'm always bringing like wig, human hair wigs and stuff. This is a packaging that I got. Not a lot came in there. All I got was... I got two wig caps, right? And on this one, they taped up a pair of lashes on it with, like, you know, some little cosmetic thing for the for the hair. So what we have is a braided wig. Oh, even though this is like my third braided wig, this one is still different because I've never gotten any that is like braided, like you know, cornrowed in the front. So, and you got the baby hairs and everything. This is the only thing is it's definitely weighty. So that you guys must take note of it is weighty. I mean it's braids. Come on, even when you do you put them, you like plait them into your natural hair, they carry weight. So what would you expect with a wig, right? But it's lace right throughout the wig. There's absolutely no wefts with this. Absolutely none. The construction looks really good and it's very neat so I love that who doesn't like a very neatly done braided job right so this is how the inside looks absolutely no waves adjustable straps in the back extra elastic band for security and it has a total of three combs on the inside of the cap it looks good I'm not gonna tell you no lie looks good the braids are neatly done like they're very neatly done plaits like that's really nice and it's lengthy I'm going to be sure to put the density and the length the accurate length of this wig, um, wig but it's pretty long it looks really good man so shout out to Kaylee's hair I'm excited to get started on this installation let's go I can say right off the bat guys that this is super snugged on my head like no shifting look at that it's really nice and snugged that's a plus that shows me that you know the security is really good despite the weight of the hair and I must tell you even though it's weighty I did a short braided wig previously and it was weightier than this so this is not bad this is not bad at all i have to cut off some of the air portion so what happens when i have to do that it gets a little tricky because what i'm gonna have to do is i have to cut like from around here so it does get a little tricky that's the only thing so you have to be careful when cutting this this kind of wig so you see I cut off just one of the braid there and that's how it's fitting way more comfortable so yes all I needed was one braid to be out the picture and I'm good but this is not bad. Top is laying flat. It looks, looks good. So I'm going to be using my got to be spray. I think it's very important that they really took in consideration the special type of cap to use for this. I feel like when you're doing braided wigs, you definitely need caps that are more snugged because you know because of the weight and stuff it will be easier to lift over time and stuff so if the cap is very secure without adhesive that's a plus you understand what i mean so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my got to be right across the hairline i'm gonna yeah that's what i'm gonna do and then um i'm gonna kind of speed through that portion 
I'm also going to be using my blow dryer on cool air. I the only thing is I wish they did not make like the hairline so straight. Like may, may give it that graduated look so it looks more natural. It's kind of a little bit too straight for my liking. I don't know if you guys can see that. So yeah, when I'm done, I'm going to just like finesse the baby hairs. Even though I really don't need this much. But we're gonna finesse it and you know just get everything nice and laid. For sure so I have to cut them down yes to make things look way more realistic I just wish that you know as I said the front here like I wish it was like um, graduated it's not it doesn't have a graduation at all so I wish that you know it did because things would look way more realistic. You guys know I'm a sucker for my hairline. My hairline having a nice graduation to it. So that's my only thing so far. In terms of the texture of the hair, definitely it feels, you can tell. But like when you do braids, right? You use like the pack here them. So I mean, that's really not an issue. That's really not an issue. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, because you see, if it was, it had a graduation now, I wouldn't really have to, like, uh, the baby hairs could be less, you know? And you can't really pull out them here because that's the style of the wig. So yeah, but this is a full on um, lace braided wig. So this is how it's looking as I said, right? So as I said, I really love the construction of the cap. The fact that it's so snugged, like that is a plus in my book. I give that a 10 because I feel like that's so necessary with a braided wig because braided the braids are usually weighty. Some weightier than others, but for the most part, it's not like a regular wig where you know there's you have weight in it but it's nothing like braids like they're more dense so it's gonna be heavier so i love the fact that they use this kind of cap it's way more snug i love the fact that it's like fully lace right throughout and the style is different for me so i'm happy that i could bring you another kind of like a different styled braided wig so okay my con is the only thing is i wish they had i said it before just not too long ago i wish there was more graduation in the, i wish there was graduation in the front because that way i wouldn't have to necessarily i would just do my regular swoops and call it a day but i feel like i'm kind of forced to do baby hairs because it's so straight in the front so it's not as natural as i would look there as i would like it to look but if you're if you don't mind then it's a go um the plaits are really neat um you know with classic synthetic hair you know like when you use kind of canal or uh expression here to do your braids you know that itchy feeling that you get 
you know that itchy feeling that you get with um like synthetic hair like when you do braids yeah i get in that on my neck so that's that you should take note of as well just it, it feels like classic braids and it, i feel like if you're looking for a quick way to have that braided braided um look for the summer a wig is a go for sure if you don't want to be too confined and too committed to one hairstyle for a week or two or even three some people wear their braids longer you know um a wig is your is is definitely a go yes it can definitely work and i recommend a braided wig if that's the vibe you're going for so i'm going to be sure to put the direct link to this wig in my description box so please go ahead and check it out for that also the specifications will be listed there as i said before so you can check there for the length the specific length on this wig and the density shout out to Kayla's hair once more for today's wig i love when i can get a chance to step outside of the box you know especially when i'm you know giving you guys something different so i love the fact the, va the fact that this is just a different look overall today and yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video and seeing today's wig look thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one so until then just want me go for myself give me a sign